I guess we can go ahead and get started. I don't have a lot of new news. Um, looking at our current release candidates, we have the inventory message viewer and the maintenance branch. Inventory message is doing very well. Uh, it is most likely the next one that will be promoted, possibly as soon as next week. So if you've been uh, if you've been thinking about uh, how that impacts your release schedule, um, be thinking about that one. That's the most likely next thing. Uh, no, that is not the one with Bento in it. That's the one with all the non-AIS inventory messages removed. I think all of them. Uh, so we're trying to get everything going through AIS so that we can make inventory more robust. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, at this point, that's the plan. Uh, unless something really bad happens. Uh, we are working on various group things, but I don't expect anything to come out soon on that. It's kind of a ongoing project, but I'm going to try and do a bunch of things to make groups more robust. Uh, I have not set a timeline for that, Kitty. Uh, probably should think about that. I, it will be at least, you know, four or five months. Uh, so we'll, we'll give plenty of warning. Um, its crash rate is not terrible. So the, the TLS inventory the, messages one looks great. They're fine. Both inventory messages and the new mate are doing fine. Yeah, they're they're pretty good. So we're we're pretty happy with them. Um, the well, I mean, all viewer crash rates are bad, but they're not conspicuously more bad than other things. Uh, the other ones that are in testing, or, I mean, that are in project status. We have, of course, uh, the, the Rift viewer. We are actually making progress on that. And uh, Bento, which has been getting uh, more and more fixes. And, uh, and so far, it seems to be doing pretty well. The uh, VLC replacement for QuickTime um, has not been getting a lot of use. If you care about in-world media, you might do well to test that. Um, and uh, of course, we have the Visual Outfit browser feature. So those are all out there in various stages of development and will be moving into release candidate status over the next few months. At each at their own pace. Um, the whether it should play MOV files or not. Uh, I, I think, I am told that it does. I'm not sure why it does. Um, and that'll be something we'll look into when the person who's been doing the work on that gets back from vacation. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what the deal with that is. So we'll, we'll have to, we'll have to worry about that again later.
Um, even if it works right now on that or any other viewer, we strongly recommend that you move away from .mov files, period. That is our official recommendation. Uh, so the TLS change on cashier went into effect. Seems to have been pretty anticlimactic. Thank you to Nara and Worley for the awesome blog post. Yes, that was great. Um... Uh, so, I don't know, there's, otherwise things are kind of slow at the moment. Not a lot to, not a lot to discuss. So, the floor is open. Uh, the 64-bit work is, 64-bit work is still on hold. Um, pending availability of developers that have been pulled off to do other things uh, or and or are on vacation. Um, there will be a round of voice fixes coming up pretty soon, but I don't have a timetable for that. Um, uh, I do have a question, though, with regards to the voice services. Uh, is there a possibility about putting something in place to kind of boot individual people up into voice that are not booting when you're entering into a new region or something? I, because I, I'm still seeing problems with that, and it would be nice to be able to could you that Could you clarify exactly what, your, what the case is that you're concerned with? Okay. Um, I was at a meeting the other day at a educational facility here in Second Life for a okay. particular lifestyle. And in that meeting, I had two or three different people that their voices were, they were, I could see them on the list, but they were grayed out like they were not loading, but I could hear them. Uh, so they were in the spatial voice channel, but they were not present otherwise. Is that the case you um, were... Well, they were there. One of the people that was, that was showing as being grayed out was an individual that was actually facilitating the. Well, wait a discussion. minute. I don't. I don't and know what grade. I don't know what grayed out means. Our viewer doesn't gray okay, people if out. You look at, Did they have a voice? If you look at the. Um, well, that's what I'm saying. If if you look at the nearby voice, you get a list of people on there. On yeah, who's sure, got active right. voices. Right, um, uh, but we don't grade people out in that list, so I don't know what grayed out means. Well, instead of being white, highlighted, bright white, they look gray. Uh, I know, but I do, what I'm so, saying Oz, is... So, we do, don't know we what do that grade indicates. people out when they're leaving. Oh. Um, like That's when someone brief. was there, and then they're leaving, and so for the next few seconds, they remain on the list, but grayed out, so that if you were talking to someone and they left, you could see who they are. We, we ah, intentionally I put see. that in. I see. I guess I never noticed that. So... Yeah, but see, that's the thing, Grumpity, is there not... It, it's not working that way with, with certain things. Certain, okay, but certain the, times, the, when the you question... walk in, they just don't load. Right. The right. question the question I have for you is were there avatars 
actually present in that space, or were they not present in that space? And only their voice. Yes, present. they were present. That's that's what I'm saying. Is they're present, but their voice is not loading. Right. Okay. So they weren't. They were failing to connect completely, or something. I don't, uh, I don't... It's more like so in that screenshot, Willow. Um, you can't. Can you hear Coffee Du Jour? Or there's no voice at all? No, I'm talking about Willow's uh, screenshot. Yeah, I also don't see a dot for Coffee. It means that they either don't have voice enabled or they didn't connect to voice when they logged into the viewer. And usually a relog helps or there may be a stray SL voice process that didn't get killed from the last login session. Um, but yeah, on our viewer, I also, I don't see a voice dot for coffee, but she's not grayed out. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's the other thing, Grumpity, is that they will be connected. You can hear voice, but you won't see a voice dot for them. So those are two discrete problems. Uh, I'm not sure if it's two discrete different problems, because sometimes, that's what I'm saying is sometimes you will be able to hear them, you won't see a voice dot for them, and if you look on the nearby voice chat, or nearby chat, they're grayed out. They're there, but they're grayed out. And you can still hear them, you can't adjust their voice, sometimes they're not even on that, but you can still hear them. So there's like two or three so different problems what? going on there. Okay, so coffee does not actually have a voice problem right now, um, which is great. <laughs> Um, so what we need are Jira with uh, the SL viewer, the screenshots, and preferably logs of the session where you experience this. Uh, there's no other way for us to diagnose the individual problems. Uh, what you're describing are several discrete problems. One that we've seen repeatedly lately is that it seems... Um, voice sessions don't always start when the viewer loads and the only way to fix that that seems reasonable is to re-log to leave the viewer and then start it up again and then it will connect to voice sometimes um, and, going in and disabling voice and re-enabling it will will do it but re yeah, is more robust and, and sometimes it, it has to happen several times and it seems to happen more to specific people whether it has to do with their connection uh, with their provider, we don't really know. We haven't spent a lot of time troubleshooting this problem yet because it's spurious. We can't get 100% repro, uh, but we're aware of it. But as for the case where someone is in the voice channel but doesn't show as connected, I haven't seen that and I haven't seen reports of it much. So give me reports, screenshots, log files, and we'll try to follow it up. Right. So okay, we um, will we will be starting a we will be starting a round of development on you know some additional updates to voice, um, both to support some new uh, security and privacy features, and to uh, or fix security and privacy bugs if you prefer, uh, and 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 we're going to be adding some new. Um, support for new codecs uh, that are Mobeta. So uh, that's all That's all in the pipeline. Uh, we don't really have a timetable for that yet.
Uh, and then there was there was something else. Scrolling back to before we went under the voice, because there was another question that came up in parallel with that, and I forgot what it was. And scrolling back. Oh, the 64-bit version. Yeah, coming. Also, we're getting pretty close to switching over to beta search as the default search. Um, right, marketplace. But there has been little screaming, either because we left it alone for so long, or because it actually is <laughs> considerably better most of the time when you search for things. Um, but if there's something you need to scream about, um, this is a good time. Okay. But let me turn off voice first, and then you can scream right ahead. <laughs> we have we have Willie's sign off. Her set. We we think it will get faster when it's when it's the primary search. Yeah, there's a horrible system in place to to have parity between the two discrete search systems, and hopefully. Um, once we do away with all these stilts propping up uh, the current setup. Uh, which, by the way, we did uh, intentionally in order to make sure that the switch was the least painful possible. Um, and that we got as much of the issues before we shipped it as possible. Um, things should be much more normal. And by normal, I mean better. It is currently going into some additional QA just to make sure that we didn't destroy something. And as soon as we get a pass, we will promote it as long as we're not disrupting the SL13B celebrations. Which, by the way, oh my god, next week? Yeah, 13. Big year. We're officially a teenager now. Well, I guess that's better than being a preteen ass. Yeah, absolutely. Way better. <laughs> yeah, I think Second Life needed that talk quite some time ago. Okay, if we don't have any other topics, we can all get the second half of the meeting back. Uh, where's Bento? Where's Bento at, um, in the in the process of things at at the moment, Oz? Uh, Bento is still sorting out some issues with joint positioning and uh, and especially the side effects of slider tweaking. But um, and there's there's a list of 
there's a list of issues to address. Uh, we do encourage experimentation with it. Uh, no, not ready to not not ready to drop any more hints about upcoming projects. We do have a couple of fun things in the pipeline. Um. Yeah, visual visual after browser was definitely one of them, right? Yes, we we are secretly working on shipping everybody an Oculus Rift. Hey, I the, we've got a partnership I, with I, Facebook. I subscribed to the New York Times on my iPad, and they, without even warning me, they sent me a Google Glass the other day because they're doing little VR things every now and then. So I have a Google Glass now. Oh, I was a while back there was something about um, the emails getting thrown into spam. Was that ever fixed? Uh, we are going to be doing various things to try to improve the delivery of email. Uh, but that's going to be kind of a long, slow project. Project. We, we, have, to, we have to make a bunch of changes to reduce... Uh, the amount of stuff that we're sending to bad addresses first, and we're we're going to start on that shortly. Uh, if you want to be able to get email from Second Life reliably, verify your email address because at some point soon we will we will begin uh, not attempting to send to unverified addresses. We will just not, you, whatever it is you want sent as email, unless you've verified your email address, we won't even try. Uh, if, if you go to the password change page, it will trigger and you, you can verify your email address as part of changing your password. Uh, do I have a link? Do you have a link for us that you can post? Uh, it's on, it's on your, it's, it's the, it's the same place we, let me, let me see if, if it's a portable link when I do it. Okay. Uh, Right. Yeah, it's on the dashboard. I I think it's this one. I think that triggers a. Uh, or it might be on change. Yeah, so if you if you go through that it'll it'll send you an email at the address you at the new address you put in and then you it has a link in it that you can click to confirm that you got it and therefore that makes your address a verified address. So there will be we'll be blogging about that as we begin to roll that change out. Beat the rush. Do it now. Uh, 
I am, I am, give me time, give me time. Okay, uh, any other topics or are we done? Hearing nothing, I think we're done. Thanks for coming, everybody. See you in two weeks. Thank you. Short meeting. And well, that picture that you were showing, that's what I'm seeing with voice services when I'm having people not connecting properly or my viewer isn't connecting with voice services property properly for some people, that's what I'm seeing. The only difference between what your picture shows and what I'm seeing is that it will move the name off to the right.